Today we're at Silver Birch Golf Club in Betterton Rose, North Wales. It's a par 59 pay and play parkland course. There's no dress code, they have foot golf, and it's a perfect course for novices or beginners. So the aim of the day is just to try and keep the ball in play and try and play the par threes as well as possible and practice the short game. On the opening hole, we get a green in regulation with the pitching wedge. And the first putt of the day is a birdie putt. It's an 18 footer. Let's see if we can make this one. We just stopped short. <laughs> Had the line actually on that one. And we tap in for an easy par on the opening hole. Hole two is struck index 18, easiest hole of the course. Going with a nine iron. And thumbs up, we hit the green. And I look at the back of the screen, there's no room to miss. Some of the holes are really tight here at Silver Birch. So it's a birdie putt, a 22 footer. And it just misses. I think it might have blipped out actually that one. And we tap in for the second easy par in a row. Great start to the round. Hole three is a long par three. Plays downhill to the right. Quite a tough hole this one actually. And we missed the green short right. Actually thought I'd lost the ball so hit provisional but luckily found the first ball here. We pitch one on and have a 12 footer to save par. And that was a downhill slider there. Didn't want to race that one by six foot. We tap in for a bogey with still a respectable score on this tough hole. Hole four, it's a par three that plays hitting across the valley. When I was starting golf, I used to have nightmares about this hole. I used to just slice my ball right into the hedges all the time. But on this day, there's no slice. We missed a green short. We didn't get a forward bounce there. It hit the knuckle and kind of rolled back. So a bit of bad fortune there. A second shot, we pitch one on, which goes okay, and we're putting for par. Uh, this is eight foot, downhill, uh, right to left. Really fast one, this one. The fourth green here is treacherous, so slopey. Look at the break we're playing here. We just missed the putt, but it rolls away like some glass, and we actually de-green the ball. We're barely tapping that so it's an eight footer coming back up just hammering that one trying to get it close and it stops just about and here's a one footer that could be missed we'll just about make it sneaks in and we card the double bogey but are still smiling hole five to short par three and we changed to the Callaway Truvis ball found three of them on a local golf course I thought I'd make good use of them I like the balls but I just can't put with them for some reason but uh, this is a practice round so just uh, experimenting not keeping things the same so we pitch one on and we have a six footer for par but there's my putting with the Drewfist ball I just I don't know what it is I just can't get them rolling like the strict and software balls that I play with normally and we card the bogey and move on to stroke index one hole it's 164, just hitting the 26 degree hybrid over the big tree towards the green. Wind's behind actually on this one. Hole 6 is named Grand Canyon, hitting over the valley to a blind green to the right. Okay. Caught the tree, I think it's alright though. And our tee shot was hit right on line, and I think I just that's just about on the green, so I'm calling that a green in regulation. And it's a 32 footer uphill for the birdie, the lag putt. Misses to the left. We have a four footer for par. And the putt drops, really happy with that, carding the par on the stroke index one hole. I've never parred this hole before, happy with that one. <laughs> hole seven is called Village View. Clipping down on this hole with the pitching wedge with the dry conditions and we missed the green short. 
and this here is just treacherous. I can't chip this one, otherwise it'll just run past. So just putting it as a percentage play with the dry conditions. And this one rolls by like it's on glass to the back fringe. That was an almost impossible shot, that one, I think. So it's a 22 footer from the fringe, which goes okay. And we have the two footer for yeah, bogey. Right to left, massively this. And we missed the two footer. I said it was right to left, massively, but it still didn't play enough break. These greens are humbling, but it's good to play courses sometimes where it's not all simple and flat. Uh, it's sometimes good to get out of your comfort zone on the golf course. So hole eight is a short par three. Go on the eight iron, the tee shot hits the green, thumbs up. Seems alright. Not too bad. So it's the best birdie chance here of the day so far. It's a 15 footer, slightly uphill. Let's see if we can make this one. And the putt misses short on the low side. Got to remember to get the ball to the hole. Hole 9 is a par 4, trying to hit between the two trees, but we don't get the draw, and it goes right. But it's still in play, just about, and I can't believe I found this one. Just to the right of this hedge, so just a stab back into the fairway, the second shot. That'll work. Third shot is a pitching wedge into the green, around 100 yards. Can't go long at all on this one, there's no room behind the green. And we're on the green in three. It's okay, I think, right side of the green. So we have the par putt that we wanted, it's a 15 footer. Slightly downhill. And golf's a funny old game. Never done that before. Never seen that before, I think. One way to stop the ball. And we tap in and card the unlikely bogey on hole nine. I hit that putt much too hard. I've been under hitting the putts on the front nine, so just hammer that one. That's one way to stop it. <laughs> so the front nine score was 36, seven over. So a bit of a mixed bag, no birdies, but played okay in parts. And it's just a practice round, not taking it too seriously, but still trying to enjoy the game. Let's see what happens on the back nine at Silver Birch Golf Club. Hole tens, a medium length par three that plays downhill slightly. And we chose the wrong club from the tee shot and the eight iron flies through right through the back of the green. So we pitch one back on, getting the short game practice here. We have a five footer for par. And the putt drops, happy with that one. We got a solid par to start the back nine. Hole 11, so par 4 dog leg to the right, clubbing down with a 6 iron here, just because of the dry conditions. And we get a stroke of fortune off the tee. Hit the trees and bounce straight left. Second shot here, have tree trouble, so just smashing the 9 iron and hoping for the best. It's a great sound on that one actually. I opened the face slightly, that was an amazing hit. Flushed that one. I thought I actually hit it onto the green, but it missed the green short. Didn't have the line right on that one. Uh, green side pitch goes okay. I, I really like uh, the playing the pitch shots, chip shots with this Trubers ball. But for some reason the putting doesn't work out for me. And uh, uh, <laughs> I just can't get the ball rolling sometimes. With the putter on the Trubers ball, Callaway. So I won't buy the balls, but if I find them I'll definitely play them. Hole 12 is a medium length par 3, plays downhill a lot this one, and we hit the 9 iron, misses the green, long right. We chip one on, there's another good chip with the Callaway ball, kind of seems to have more control with the, the green side pitches and chips with this ball, but there you go, we missed the three and a half butter, so you can hit all the good chips you want, but if you can't hold the putts, then what, what good is that? 
Uh, change balls to the Strix and Softfield because I can't putt with the Callaway Truvis ball. So change back to the regular ball on 13 to medium length par 3. And this shot with a 6 iron misses the green long. We chip on back, which goes okay, and we have a six footer to save par. And now we can't put with our regular ball. Look at me shaking my head. Uh, it's just one of those things, and we tap in for three bogeys in a row. This is 176 uphill. Just hitting the 22 degrees, see if I can get an albatross. Never got an eagle before, but I can get an albatross on this hole. Hole 14 is the shortest par four of any of the courses I play. Going all out to try and hit the green here, but unfortunately we don't get the draw with the tee shot. I missed the green short right. We pitch one on. Yep. Really good, I think. Which goes okay. Remember, this is a par four, so this is a 20 footer from the fringe for birdie. <laughs> and the putt drops. Really happy with that. It would have gone uh, about six or eight feet foot past. It's a really slopey green, this one. It slopes away from you, and the whole hole is uphill. But we definitely take the birdie. Happy days. On 15, it's a short par 3. Plays downhill slightly, so I'm trying to hit this pitching wedge a bit harder than normal. Unfortunately, Mr. Green short right in the bank. We pitch one on, which rolls out to the back fringe. And have a 12 footer for par. Misses to the left. And we tap in and card a bogey with no drama on hole 15. Hole 16 is a short par 3, playing downhill slightly, so I'm clubbing down with the 9 iron. And we hit our tee shot right on line. And I thought it had gone in the hole actually, because the ball disappeared. And you get that funny feeling when you can't see the ball, but walking up to the green, the ball's quite close to the flag. Eight foot away, that's the best proximity to the hole we've had all day. Let's see if we can hold this one. And the slopey greens win again on this hole. Not reading too much into it. We tap in for the easy par and move on. Hole 17 is a short par 3. Quite a nice hole this one. Plays downhill slightly. And our tee shot finds the right side of the green. It's on the green, but kick right massively. So it's, I'm putting this down as a green in regulation. It's right up against the fringe. It's a 28 footer lag putt. And it's a, another massive misread. <laughs> Sloped off the wrong side. We're a six footer for par. And wouldn't you know it, we finally read a, the slopes right, we card the par, and move on. Hole 18, so par 4, hitting back to the clubhouse, and we hit a wild slice with the driver that ends up on the 10th hole. The second shot here, I'm just opening the face of the sandwich, trying to get it over the trees. Bit of a guessing game, and just hit it terribly into the thick stuff. So I eventually found it, it was tough to find. I actually found 6 balls as well, <laughs> before I found this one. One of them was a Pro V1X. It wasn't all too, all bad. Hit the branch and it came down. So fourth shot here. Hit the sandwich three times on this hole. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that before. Driver sandwich, three sandwiches. Yeah, it's on the green, but it's on the wrong tier. We're now putting up a tier. Really tough to do, but you don't want to leave it short. And thumbs up, really happy with that one. We have a three footer for the double bogey. And the putt drops. And we end the round with a double bogey, but I'm not too bothered as it's a practice round. 
And the final score was 71, 12 over. So a bit of a mixed bag, which is normal for me. Kept the ball in play quite well and had some good par three and short game practice, which was the aim at the start of the day. I enjoyed the round, I enjoyed the day. Uh, you can play nine holes at this course, it's 12 pounds. But I like to play the 18 and uh, it's good to sharpen up the short game and not take the game too seriously and just uh, enjoy the round. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoy playing and making it and see you on the next one, signing off.